Are you concerned about any economic fallout due to the bills that were signed last week and the lawsuit that's now filed with regards to the bills that were viewed as anti-LGBTQ? Here in Alabama, we're here to do business, not politics. And so uh, we're proud to be here to welcome these two new firms to South Alabama Logistics Park. And uh, we've received the lawsuit. We'll press on, but we're certainly prepared to defend it in Alabama values. Can you talk about why you signed that legislation? Beg your pardon? Can you talk about why you signed that legislation? It's just the right thing to do. Our children are growing up at an age where the culture and lifestyles offer a lot of challenges, and we need to protect our young people. And if the good Lord makes you a boy when you're born, you're a boy. If you, Good Lord makes you a girl when you're born, you're a girl. And so we need to spend our energy and focus on helping these young people become healthy, productive adults, as God would have them be. Well, get, Sammy, you're against having COVID uh, vaccine <coughs> mandates. You believe that should be a personal choice among families. Why can't transgender treatments for youth be a personal choice among families? It's just not the thing to do. They're too young to make that kind of judgment. It's a life-changing treatment. And uh, they don't need to be making that kind of decision at that young age. All right, and any other questions before we wrap up today? Given the timing of the primary, you're saying that it's not politics uh, uh, that were involved in this uh, legislation being passed. A lot of folks might say, well, it's, it was a political action. We're doing business in Alabama, trying to take care of our people, helping our young people find a strong, healthy pathway to a firm, positive adulthood. All right, and then I know we've got